Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. have a very very special guest tonight i'm a little nervous for this one because he has the most credits out of all my guests you've seen him on netflix's number one show now called nobody wants this please welcome michael hitchcock hi steve how you been good seeing you thanks for coming too yeah what's going on with your eye what do you mean you got like stuff underneath it. Oh, I didn't it. realize it was on there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's eyelid, maybe it's eyelid dermatitis. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, all so right. Should we start over? Should I take it? No. <laughs> well, you could start over if you want. No, 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 no. no. We're gonna I roll just. With it. Oh, is it, is I'm it, sorry, it, I brought it up. <laughs> Is it very apparent? Well, yeah, yeah, yes, it's incredibly well, apparent. Well, oh, that's, it's, it's, uh, is it, is it, is it? It's completely white. It's on completely one side white. Of your okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, it, I, it's, uh, it's allergies. Yeah. And um, do you get them at all? Yeah. Okay. I've got, I took, I put in eye drops before I came because okay. I've got allergies right now. You do? Yeah, yeah. So this is a part of my allergic reaction. Yeah. I, get, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. So Netflix. Yeah. Number one show. No, can we talk about sure. it? Sure. It stars Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. Oh, I have to look in the camera. I don't know. I, I always do that. I, oh, I, I have a habit. It of doing stars it. Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. Okay. It's about an agnostic woman, Kristen, who falls in love with a hot rabbi, uh, Adam. And all sorts of crazy stuff ensues. I play Kristen's dad, who uh, was married to a woman for a very long time, recently came out of the closet, and I haven't been a very good dad ever. So she doesn't particularly like me. But So that's sort of it. And I pop in a few times throughout the season, and it's a super fun part to play. You've been working the whole time, haven't you? What what do you mean the whole time? I mean, since... Since I was born? (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> but since you've since, known me, yeah, yeah, since I've known you, you're pretty, pretty. Yeah. Now, continue. see, I know, I know Steve because his brother Bobby was on, was on Mad TV, and I you used to write for Mad TV, and so then, and then you did several episodes. We'll get, we'll get to that. Okay, okay. We don't want no spoilers. Mikey, but you were on Mad TV. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay. Um, what was that process like? Do you, now, do you still? Because you have a lot of credits, do you still have to audition for these roles? I did. I did audition for Nobody Wants Us. Yeah, I auditioned for about half. About half they, you mm. know, they'll offer me, and about half I auditioned for. And then, <laughs> how many different times do you have to come back? Is it do you, every time you come back, do you see a new guy there that uh, you have to go up against? Uh, it, well, everything kind of changed at. During after COVID, because mm-hmm. before COVID, you'd go into a room and you'd see all your competition you and all that crazy stuff. And now a lot of it is online. You know, you either do a self tape or you literally send it mm-hmm. in and mm-hmm. maybe never hear another word. Yeah. And then sometimes there's Zoom ones mm-hmm. where you know you do see the people on the other side, which is kind of nice. Yeah. And then every once in a while, there's an uh, an in person one. What do you prefer? You like showing up, or do you like doing? I kind of like showing up because you get immediate feedback. Because mm. you'll know right away, like if they kind of like you or they don't. Mm. Where, like, with a the nice thing about a, a self tape is you um, can k- do it over. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. if you goof something up, you can do it over. Mm. But once you once you send it in, you don't know, even know if anybody watched it. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. a little bit weird. That is weird. Does and, that? How does that make yeah. you feel? Like like shit. Maybe knowing- Makes yeah. me feel like shit. <laughs> On like a like you know like one of a million actors you know it makes you feel like you want to wander does Hollywood de- Boulevard does it and make like you depressed? pee in a corner yeah yeah it sure does. does and sometimes you have to pay to you know like if somebody if I don't have anybody to help me I'll go somewhere where someone helps you but you pay for it really so yeah so it so can there, be there are like services like that yeah wow yeah um just a little word of advice for maybe an aspiring aspiring actors or comedic actors out there like well what kind of, give them a piece of advice like what would you recommend them doing as far as getting to the level you're at 
well, if you move to L.A. or New York, um, <coughs> know that it costs a lot of money to live here. And so, like, have money saved in L.A. for a car. A lot of people come here and don't have a car, and you need a car in L.A. New York, not so much. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, rent is very expensive. Mm -hmm. And you have to kind of treat the first, I think, several years in either place sort of like going to college. So you're going to take classes. You're going to keep, you know, getting better at your craft. And mm -hmm. classes most of the time cost money. So, so like, give give us a hypothet like is it uh like a hypothetical not even a hypothetical like like a groundlings type course. Well, for, for groundlings or like a uh, upright citizens brigade for uh, improvisation is mm. great, but there's scene study classes. There's, you know, cold reading classes. There's every class you can think of. I'm sure. How much but is that investment? A lot. <laughs> no, a class can be yeah. like. A like class, how much is one course for like class improv class? Can be like a four hundred bucks for twelve sessions, sort of thing. Um, so roughly that right now in the year two thousand twenty four. Yeah. If you're listening to this in the year two thousand fifty, I don't know what it'll be. Right, but it'll probably be more than four hundred dollars. And who knows if we'll leave by that time? We we might just be part of Russia. Or yeah, exactly. Anyway, exactly. we won't have to worry oh, I, about you, I know classes. There's, we're living then, in crazy yeah, times. Anyway, oh, yeah, there's missiles flying. Um. So is there, I mean, there's probably examples of a person that paid for all those classes, uh -huh. but hasn't booked anything. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it happens all the time. What do you say to them? Keep at it, kid? I mean, you know, whatever. I wouldn't, I would never tell anyone not to do their dream because... Yeah, it's their dream. It's their dream. Mm -hmm. But you kind of have to be a little bit... Most... I don't know what to say exactly without sounding un-PC. Um... Yeah, think you, it through. You have to be a little dreamlike to be here because the odds are crazy. I mean, the odds are crazy, but you can't think about it too much, or or you, or it'll make it worse. Um, but you have to know that going in. And sometimes I think, like, if this isn't what you really love to do, maybe do the thing you you really you, want to do. You, well, or maybe like if you also sort of like podiatry, maybe do that. <laughs> but if this is like I just have to do this, yeah, then go for it. But no, go uh, go in with your eyes wide open. That it's, um, you know, Does most people are not the Kardashians. Help, though, with therapy help? Oh, I think therapy's great. As far as because there's a lot of rejection when yeah. you say in this. Yeah, but then you got to pay for therapy, so that's okay. another expense. <laughs> <laughs> but here's another thing. Go ahead. I, here's right. another thing that I always say to at least with anyone in the creative arts. Yeah. Go uh, volunteer somewhere because volunteering somewhere kind of takes your mind off of mm -hmm. just you know. The auditions and uh, yeah. and I didn't write enough words today for my screenplay. But if you're doing, you know, some kind of giving back to the community, mm -hmm. then it puts things into perspective a little. Bit. Um, <laughs> Theo Vaughn, Theo Vaughn was on this. What did he talk about for that's, 45 minutes? That's like All right, 10 years ago, okay. Mike. All right. Anyway, uh, uh, how do we ground ourselves? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, like I said, like you said, therapy. Yeah. Uh, definitely volunteering, and then honestly, having a group of friends that you can call and go. I'm having a bad day, mm -hmm. and they can call you and say, I'm having a bad day. Because that happens all the time. A friend that's in the same line of work as you. Yeah, and it can be a little weird. What if you book something and this guy... That has, happens all the time. And your friend has been auditioning for 20 years, hasn't booked a thing, and they're always congratulating you, Mike. Well, then I have to be extra nice. <laughs> But I, it happens all the time where a good friend of mine gets it and I don't, or I get it and they don't. But yeah. how I think about that is I'd rather have my friend get it than a stranger. There you go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, and, and again, if you're around people that are uh, working and what have you, it, it elevates all of us. Sort mm. of, you know, it kind of mm -hmm. goes like, all right, they're doing it. I Maybe I can do it too. You've been in some great... Um, I wouldn't, oh, would I you like to list about 10 of them? Yeah, Waiting for Guffman... <laughs> Uh, best in show. Yeah. You were great. The oh, scenes thanks. with you and Parker Posey. Oh, thanks. Phenomenal. Yeah, Very funny. Played Very, husband and wife. No, like, was that a lot? Of, was there a lot of improv there? Yeah, those movies are all improvised. All the dialogue. Oh, so yeah, you did improv. That uh, was yeah, on the fly. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. We, there's an outline, so we know what it's going to be about, but none of the dialogue is written at all. Oh, and wow. we know what our character is. So funny. But dude. we never practice ahead of time. You just when the camera rolls, that's when you. Just, you know, 
So you, you made that up about the shtick about the Starbucks. Yeah, you, met, you were at this Starbucks. She mm-hmm. was at that, and that came you about. Just, that was on the fly. Well, yeah, and in the, the movie, because most of you probably haven't seen it, it our characters are married. Parker Posey and I are married, so funny. and we met at Starbucks, but not the same one. Like <laughs> one, there was one across the street from the other, and we saw each other. Yeah, and that it's happened. So funny. I'll tell you why that happened. We shot that in Vancouver. Yeah, and. In Vancouver, there are, or there were, there's not anymore, right across the street from each other. And so that's where that came from. It came from real life. So you're just... Isn't that weird? Yeah, that's yeah. weird. But it was. Just, it seemed so natural, too. I yeah. could see why, that that it was improv, but it just... Yeah. I just, you're, you're a chemistry with her. I mean, how is yeah, she I love doing? Her. How is she doing? She's doing great. She's, she's doing, doing the new... Is she, is she's she doing, still around doing stuff? She's not only around doing stuff. She's, she's doing, just, right now, currently, shooting the new um, uh, White Lotus. Yeah, so she's having a really so good So shout year. out to uh, Parker, Parker Posey. Posey. Yeah, she works all the time. Um, now, the all these movies are directed by Christopher Guest. Well, I don't know what you have on your list. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, a mighty win for your consideration. Yeah. Like a lot yeah. of these Mascots, movies. Yeah. Um, how how did you establish relationship with well, these people? And I I was I was and I'm an alumni now of a comedy sketch and improv group called The Groundlings here in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. And I was improvising on a Thursday night mm-hmm. and he came to see the show. I didn't know that he was in the audience. And then I got my agent at the time said, hey, he wants to meet you because he saw the show. Wait, what year was this? Well, so Waiting for Guffman was 1995. Mm-hmm. So around... 19, probably 1994. Those are such I don't good know. movies, by the way. Oh, yeah, that was fun. So funny. And that one was about a community theater. So yeah. when I went into interview with him, I grew up doing community theater mm-hmm. in the Chicago suburbs. And so, oh, like in real life. In real life. Oh, okay. And so I went in and go, and I kind of talked about my time mm-hmm. doing community theater and all the, you know, the interesting people there and i think that helped me get the job now let's like go back in it let's go back in a time machine if you w- would have known christopher <laughs> guest was in the um audience do you think you would have uh i would got, have, well, i would have got nervous because back then he was known um he he by that time he'd already been on saturday night live and he was also one of the stars of spinal tap which was <laughs> like yeah so cool i wrote, I wrote it down yeah man. i wrote it yeah down. and that was also improvised but that was directed wait, wait that movie was improvised oh yeah uh-huh and so that was, imp- and that was directed by Rob Reiner. Oh, and so wow. it was like, oh, the guy from Spinal Tap is here. Yeah. And I, you know, so, and plus I think by then, I don't remember when like The Princess Bride came out, but I think that was already shot by then. But anyway, I would have definitely known who he was. So the, the majority of viewers here on my YouTube channel are between the ages, like uh, the, the big chunk of them are 25 to 30. 30, 30 okay. 30. So they don't, they might not know of these movies. They so. absolutely don't know of these oh. movies. <laughs> The one that they, the one credit I have that they probably know <laughs> that's what is the sweet my, life on my, deck. We're talking about because I want to. I just, I just want to remind them. Please revisit these movies or visit them for the first for time. For the first time. Waiting for Goffman, mm-hmm. best in show. They're all in I color. Mean, every one. Um, they're not you, black and white. Uh, and would you? I don't know why now. I'm looking in the camera. Would you label them mockumentaries? Because uh, they're like documentary type movies. Yes, they're like fake documentaries. Fake. Um, I know Christopher Guest doesn't like that term. Oh, but, oh I'm so but, sorry. Well, we edit that out. Sorry, you Christopher. don't have to edit that okay, out. Okay, so it's, what's another term for it? I don't um, know. I, documentary's fine. Like you're a, not insulting maybe me. Maybe like a fake documentary. Yeah, or a mock documentary. But like a mock documentary or a mockumentary, if you will. I, it's all fine. No, no, no. no I, you know, it's all about respect. Nope. Mock. Mike, I'm so sorry for that. Oh, mock documentary. Oh, we got a dog who's having a little wee. <laughs> There mock documentary. Mm. Now, is that the same way you met like Eugene Levy? Like, yeah, you, I met them just, all. Yeah. I met them all. Yeah, while we were filming Waiting for Guppin. So it was Eugene Levy and oh, Catherine O'Hara oh my and goodness. Parker Posey and Harry Shearer and just all these cool people. I remember at the time thinking, please let Catherine O'Hara be nice because I loved her so much. Yeah, and and then she was so she cool. was great she was so too. Cool. She's so good. Yeah. Um, wasn't Will in one of the movies too? Wasn't he a whale? No, Will Sasso. Yeah, Will was in he was Best the in fisher- Show. Yeah, he was the fisherman. Yeah. He worked at the fishing yeah. store. He was in Best in Show. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely, um, to my 25 to 30-year-old mm-hmm. uh, viewers, re- uh, or visit these movies, I'm telling you. you or just w- get out of the basement. Yeah, get out of the basement and watch these movies. Yeah, now I just insulted all of them. 
What's this? Uh, and Am- not that I'm never in the basement. <laughs> no, I'm in the I, basement I, all the time. Oh, no, t- for real. Well, no, Writing, my, your- my mental basement. Yeah, okay, gotcha, got. Thanks for your honesty. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's up with this Amazon action comedy film, Jackpot? You want to talk Ooh, a little bit about that? Well, that's, yeah, that's a that's a big hit on Amazon. It's um it's an action comedy starring mm-hmm. uh, John Cena, Aquafina, Simu mm-hmm. Liu, um, Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, it's I thought a, he so he does movies now or he does acting now. Uh, well, he did in that one. Okay, and guess who else? Your brother Bobby Lee is in it too. Bobby. So yeah, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna get to let's go back yeah. in a time machine on how <laughs> back during the Matt TV times. Yeah. Um. Thanks for hiring my brother. I didn't hire him, but, but I. But thanks for being there yeah, while he was there. <laughs> I I love Bobby. I mean, I got along with him. Was he so well. easy to work with? I thought so. You did. I loved. He made me laugh every single day. Okay. I loved him, and most, I mean, everybody loved Didn't him. Didn't he pull pranks and stuff on set? He pulled a lot of pranks. Can we can we name a few? I mean, I, well, without, you keep without, editing without, things out. No, no, I don't no, know no, what no, I'm no. allowed to do. We won't edit do. any of this out. What did he do? He played pranks on Ike Barinholtz a lot. What kind? Well, one time he pooped in Ike's dressing room. <laughs> He did. And you guys are okay with this? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't care. It wasn't my dressing room. I think Ike was okay. Um, and then I, th- I, he, you know, he would do he would do pranks like that. So he was, but you know, I mean, they're juvenile. Yeah. But you know, and Bobby, you know, likes to pull down his pants and show everybody's butt or whatever. So everyone saw most of Bobby at some point. What about the like, producers, Mike? This is a professional setting here. They were yeah. okay with all this. Well, I'm sure. Th- I'm sure he got in trouble. Okay. Yeah. I mean, things like that probably Happen. now would get you into a lot yeah, more trouble a lot, than yeah, than we're in then. A different time now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, but back then, back then, and again, it was like it was Ike, so I probably mm-hmm, played mm-hmm. a prank back on him. Yeah. So yeah. Um, did would anyone like poop in their dressing room? Probably not. Yeah. Probably but, not. But. You know, I don't know. It didn't. I thought it was kind of funny. Now, was Jordan? Truth. When did was Jordan around during that? <laughs> yeah, Jordan Peele was there, oh, what, and what are, you, what are your Michael thoughts King? about Jordan? I think he's fantastic. He's on top of the world. He's on top I, well, of the even skyscraper, back, you know, man. Yo, for sure. But even back then, like he, he was allowed to. Um, you know, he did all these amazing characters. This mm. is you know before Key and Peele, obviously. Yeah. But he also wrote a lot back then. He wrote sketches. He did. Yeah, he did. So he was he was fantastic. And then, did I, you ever think that he would be where he's at now? Well, I don't think anybody he's basically like Francis Ford Coppola now. Yeah. He's, a, he's a director. Well, he, I don't think know? anyone predicted like he would be like king of the world with like writing and these these movies he's that like, are not only like obviously scary but also have have really something to say. Yeah, like, yeah. But he's he was incredibly smart, and mm. and that was evident from the get go. You know what's weird about Jordan? I remember back then I used to see him just walking down the street. He didn't have a car. Isn't that weird that he walks? In that way. Oh yeah. yeah no, no, he has a car. Oh, yeah. But, but back uh, yeah, then, I don't think he did. Jordan right? didn't have a car. Right. Because I saw him at the the barbecue Hawaiian barbecue yeah, yeah. place, and he was just. I'm he like, sort of lived. I mean, you're living in a in a Hollywood neighborhood. He kind of lived around, sort of yeah, around, here. around here. Yeah, yeah. I remember that because yeah. we. I remember at Matt TV. We filmed at his apartment a couple of times. Really? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, he was great. Keegan was. I mean, the whole cast was great. Will Sasso, and, Michael and, McDonald, um, and and I want to thank you for throwing me in a few sketches. Oh, um, you were in a ton, and you're so and, funny. And I was so scared, and I wanted to apologize because the fear was real. No, it was the fear was real. Yeah, Mike. but I think Bobby was like, I, I got to get my brother Stephen these things. And, I, and thank then, you, Bob, that, that's love. And you were hilarious. And well, you I were was in, nervous. I was nervous. And, I was very nervous. Well, um, we were. I had nervous. I had the lines. I remember because I was in the trunk half the time. <laughs> Mike, and so I had the line in my pocket, and I was like sweating, yeah. and then I had the wig on, and then oh, wow, that's so funny. Yeah, so, they uh, and then you were weren't you in? We did a pilot for Bobby for Comedy Central that he it didn't end up going, but you were in it. I'm was, sure you was, were. Was in Ike it. in it too? Because I remember no, my mom and dad in, were in one, and we were ta- we were in the bathtub with my dad. Ike. I think that was Mad TV. Oh, I, that was Mad TV. Yeah, that was a that Mad TV yeah. sketch. Yeah. Yeah, this and, was. And um, we filmed that on this street, actually. Did you? Yeah, it was just right. You up remember there. the bathtub? I, rem- oh, I, rem- <laughs> I remember the house. Okay. I remember the house. Those were some good days, huh? Like, oh yeah, they yeah. were fun. So um, it was what sort did of like, you, just, yeah. let's go out and do this thing today, and then people yeah. did it. Um, so yeah. as far as ideas and did, did 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 Ike write? Did everyone write sketches? Like who not everyone, sketches? not everyone. I mean, I was hired as a writer to write sketches, mm. but people. 
a lot of the actors on the show would write too. Mm-hmm. So you know, if they had an idea, the way it would work is uh, we all had to pitch ideas, and then the boss picked ideas that they wanted us to write, mm-hmm. and then some of those got picked for what was it's called a table read, where you literally sit around this giant table and, then, and yeah. read them out loud. Right. And the table reads are like three hours long; they're there forever. Mm-hmm. And then you know, then it gets whittled down to so many and then those get filmed yeah 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 and unlike snl which is live every week mad tv was pre-taped so a sketch that was filmed in let's say october it could air in march it it didn't there was it didn't have to air the same month we shot it now was keegan around during those days too yeah so not i mean not everybody from the very beginning but yeah i can't remember who joined when but yeah so so keegan and jordan were around the same i think so yeah because keegan came from chicago second city and jordan came from boom chicago which is a separate uh comedy group that ike also came from and i think the actress nicole parker came from there too oh yeah i remember yeah Yeah, i Mm -hmm. remember so this is going back to the um taking classes and courses Uh it paid off for them it sure did yeah i mean because uh when did Keen Peel happen? That happened. That like- happened after Mad TV. So Mad TV ended. I forgot when season. I wasn't there for season fourteen, but mm-hmm. it would be I don't know two thousands ish. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you do directly after Mad TV? Do you remember? After, yeah. After Mad TV, I acted uh, on United States of Terra and a show called Men of a Certain Age, mm-hmm. and then Glee, mm. and then. They liked me on Glee, and I became a writer starting mm-hmm. season three, and I was so I was on the show here and there, and then well, then wrote for it for seasons three through mm-hmm. six, and then after that I went over to a show called Crazy Ex Girlfriend oh, wow. on the CW starring Rachel Bloom, and she ended up winning a Golden Globe wow. for that, and wrote on that for four years, mm-hmm. and then. Did the then, strike affect? Because um, there was a writer strike, right? There was a writer strike during Mad TV times. What? Well, oh, even yeah, back then. Way back th- then. And was then, there a recent one? Though, and then there the was last- a recent one last year. So how does the, how did that affect you or the other writers? Well, nobody worked. <laughs> I mean, so so what do yeah. you do during that downtime? Did you we just, you keep marched. We marched on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> up and down the sidewalk and then maybe we'd get something to eat with a friend <laughs> so yeah it was a lot of complaining yeah. and a lot of like will we ever work again <laughs> and um yeah and then other people like i don't know they wrote by them but i'm right now i'm only concentrating on acting so i mean you're doing yeah. well you're in a oh, lot thanks. of stuff yeah, yeah. So. can we talk about this um yes, this thanks. pilot with ethan Hawke? Ooh, yeah this is on this is a future fx show yeah we shot this amazing pilot uh starring ethan Hawke. Uh, but also starring like Killer Mike and the David. The rapper, Killer yes, Mike. Yes, and David, he's, he so acted he's in this. So he's going into acting too? Yes. So a lot of these rappers are going into acting. Well, I can't speak for all of them, but I can but, but, speak for oh, Killer Mike. Uh, Machine yeah, Gun Kelly, a, yeah. he brought that up. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then David Keith and um, Kyle MacLachlan. It's this really cool cast. And it was written by Sterling Harjo, who created Reservation Dogs, that Bobby was also okay. in. And so, okay. And, Bo- okay. and Reservation That's, Dogs mm-hmm. is one of my favorite shows ever. If you haven't seen that, oh my God, it's fantastic. It's right, on Hulu. Yeah. And it was on FX. And so it's the same guy. Mm-hmm. He wrote this new thing. Is it comedy? It's, a, I can't say much about it because it's kind of secret, but it, it's a... It's a drama with comedy, mm-hmm. and they're calling it Tulsa Noir. So it's like film noir. It's got kind of a a crime may have been committed, maybe not, mm. and yeah. we're going to find out about it. And it's set in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wow. Yeah. That's a um, great. I mean, it's so cool. How's work, how's how is it working with Ethan Hawke? Is he a nice oh, guy? Oh, my God. He was fantastic. Really? I was really scared. I don't think I've been more scared. Because of Ethan yeah. and his credits? He's got, like, he's got How every... Many- I don't know what he's got, but he's well, what he are does some of your favorite every, movies. Training Day, Training Day for sure. Um, the vamp- and he, he started was in a Vampire One, uh, Daybreakers. Yeah, and he's and he's in um, Oh Goodwill Hunting. And then when he's not doing that stuff, he's on Broadway. And then he does really independent films like uh, Before Sunrise. He's he's like he's the coolest well, person was he ever. Working even in the nineties too, like he's reality, working, oh, reality for sure. bites. He was working with, in the eighties. Uh, yeah, so yeah. he's been uh, in everything. And then his daughter. Uh, she, she acts she's, too. Yeah, she's one of the stars of Stranger Things. Uh, no, I didn't yeah, know that. yeah. Uh, it's his daughter um, Maya Hawk. You, you knew that. Um, oh, wow. And his uh, f- with when he was still married to Uma Thurman, they had Maya Hawk. Oh, and so goodness. yeah, yeah. So uh, so you were nervous working with really Ethan. nervous, and he made me at ease almost immediately. 
you go to his trailer and like you guys get coffee? He kind of came to me and he was sort of like, hey, let's, you know, I'm blah, 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 I'm Ethan. And I think he kind of knows that maybe he's. Maybe he knows your work too, Mike. Ever thought about that? Well, maybe I hope, he's seen I hope he looked me up on IMDb before yeah, we started. Yeah, he maybe he's seen all these movies. Maybe he did. About. And then he probably saw a couple and went, oof. So he Boy, knocked on your we trailer? We made a mistake. He was knocking uh, on your trailer? I don't think he knocked on my trailer, but I saw him on the sidewalk. Uh-huh. And so we, we had coffee and uh-huh. did all that. And, okay. Uh, and he was so cool. I loved him. Okay. So, yeah. Was that and the most nervous? The most you, nervous? Yeah, yeah. I want to know about the most mm, nervous you got. Who would have been the most nervous? He's certainly up there. Yeah. Catherine Hare, I was super nervous about her. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I did United States of Terror, Tony Collette, who was the star of that oh, show, geez. she made she's me cool. nervous because yeah. she's so great. Uh-huh. Uh, Are they, they're nice, though. They're, they're nice. nice. Way back you. in the day, I wrote a movie called um, uh, House Arrest, and it starred Jamie Lee Curtis, so I was a little nervous oh, around her. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it was you know different. Yeah. yeah. But then uh, once you break the ice with them, they're just... They're, yeah, they're unless they're horrible. But that doesn't oh. happen very often. So some of them might not be so nice. Well, it's just like real life. Yeah. Yeah. I heard, you probably I, have a couple friends you don't like. Who are they? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. We're not going to do that now. All right. Yeah. You can tell I just me heard, after um, the show. I like Mad Max Fury, Fury Road, and I heard they didn't get along on set. Uh, Steve, by the way, you can't see this, but he's pointing to the cast of Mad Max is right over, <laughs> right off camera. It's, yeah. They're, hi, I, guys. <laughs> oh, Fury Road is oh, the no, poster. It's a poster on the wall. So uh, Charlize yeah. Theron. They're, oh, yeah, I've never met And her. I heard Tom Hardy and her didn't get along, oh. but they managed to f- complete the movie, right? Yeah. I always wondered that, like, how they how Yeah, did that would not be that? great. Yeah. But that's like any work. If you think about, like, Everybody has jobs. I mean, there's mm-hmm. always some people you get along with better than others. And even going into any job, it's sort of like, well, not everybody has to be my best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like with the, with all these with all these shows that we mentioned, uh, like you you had to audition for every like like the I jackpot. had to audition. I had to I jackpot. I did not have to audition for because mm. it's directed by Paul Feig, who's an amazing comedy director, mm. and he had hired me before on a movie called Bridesmaids, mm-hmm. starring Kristen Wiig. So I did audition for that one, but he offered me yeah. this one. Wow, that's so. So that's nice. Yeah, it is nice. So, but I did audition for the Ethan Hawke one. Yeah, does and, that usually happen? Since you've done work, uh, that happens at your level where they just call you in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, sometimes don't... like any, sometimes when it, if it's like a pilot or something brand new, mm-hmm. they usually make you audition mm-hmm. because everybody in town is auditioning for these things. So they yeah. they want to get it right. And um, have you ever gotten close to something oh, where yeah. at the very last thing yeah. they 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 chose the other? Oh, guy? for sure. How do you deal with that? Um, you cry for about <laughs> about a sometimes a year. No, so you have cried. Oh, not oh, not only that. No, I, no, no you actually had a, cried. I've had a couple. Oh, yes, I've had a couple shows that. I get my power back by never watching the show. <laughs> oh, so you don't, so you don't watch Which is not always the best thing because they're yeah. really good shows. You've and you're like, cried. yeah, I choose not to yeah. watch. I choose not to watch but the show. But not in front of the person, though, right? You do this in your home. No, you, well, you usually find out in your home. You don't find it. Oh, out right, there. right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so when you find yeah, out. Yeah, or you get, I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm a grown man, so yeah. usually it has <laughs> to do with, I more go towards, you know, rocking in the corner and, you know. Mm-hmm. Starving myself. How do you bounce back from that? Like, do you you just go to the gym or? I well, sometimes. Yeah. Are you calling me? I need to. No, 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 no. I'm just. I'm trying to get to like maybe extra. Do you think I should go to the gym? No, no, no. I'm not. Well, I should. I'm just saying. Outside of the stuff you're doing, what 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 else do you enjoy doing? As far as I told you before, but you have to edit it out. Um, (laughs) The (laughs) I. Oh, we, you want no, to I go to the movies. No, 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 no. No, yeah, I go to the gym. I go yeah. to movies. I go to comedy shows. Yeah. You know. So have you seen? What's the latest thing you've seen in the movie theaters where you're like, that was a good movie? You see Long Legs with Nicolas Cage? No, not yet. Is it good? It's really good. I'm right? going to see. I think Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice this weekend. I haven't seen it yet. So and I'm, I'm behind. Yeah. I'm behind on everything. Yeah. So you haven't? Because I I saw you at the. Uh, I miss the Arc Light. Me theater, too. Don't, don't you miss it? Yeah. There's there's a theater in L. A. Which was called the ArcLight. The building still is so there, great. but it's the been dome, the, it's been closed oh since COVID. I mean, that was the best yeah. movie. Theater, yeah. Why in the world an LA theater's closes beyond have, me? But it is no idea. But so you haven't gone to the theater yourself? No, I go to well. different ones. There's but one at not, the Grove. Yeah, there's, I go to the Grove, the the Grove, and I go to you mm-hmm. know theaters like uh, like Burbank or Glendale mm-hmm. or something. But um, yeah, I, but I don't go as as often as I used to, Steve. I don't yeah. know. I think after COVID, I kind of I used to go to the theater like every week. 
you, I and mean, now right? I just don't. Yeah. Why is that? Is it maybe you favorite that one? Uh, that I mean, ArcLight was. I think that's part of it, but I also think streaming changed everything. Where like mm. you know, you wait two days and it's already on mm -hmm. one of the streamers. So it's yeah. like, why pay money when I I'm paying for streaming? So some of that. You know, is just because of the nature of the business now. Have you um have you seen Bob lately, Bobby? I well, Bobby and I weirdly worked together about a month ago on this on the, HBO comedy, which I think I can say. I are you sure? I don't well, know if I, I can. Okay, Maybe, well, you don't have to say the name of the show. But it was it's going to be this new comedy on HBO, mm -hmm. and we're on the same episode of a of it of it. Okay. And um, it was so fun to see him. Yeah. There. So we got to hang out. As far as um, he's, you know, he's always loved you too. Always. Well, he calls you Hitchy. He's like, oh, I saw Hitchy. Oh, well, that's nice. I Hitchy. call him Pooper. <laughs> no, I call him Bobby. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, I've run into him a couple times, like, yeah, walk, you know, in L.A., just like at a restaurant or something too. So yeah, I oh, see him every once in a while. You seen him eat out? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. He eats well. Huh? He's eating good. Well, I don't really study him. Yeah, I know, but he's eating, eating but good. I, yeah, yeah, he's not. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, other th other than all this, so like as far as cur outside curricular activities, do you do you, do you go hiking? Or yeah, you, I go hiking. Yeah. Um, I play board games sometimes. Oh, I'm okay, very well rounded. Ouija board. Uh huh. So you I have, love ghosts. You do. No, I mean, <laughs> what? I, no, I you, no, I don't so play the don't, Ouija you, board. You, what you, are you talking <laughs> about? You but I, but you never. So I super, did as a, superstitious as a then. kid. I did. As no, that's that stuff you, scares me. It does. Yes, Ouija boards. It, Do you like is. them? Do you play them? I have one under my bed right now. Ooh. Okay. Um. You want to ask the first question, Mike? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, both our hands need to be on here. Go ahead. Will Stevie and I be in a Jordan Peele movie? I think you're going against what the spirit oh. is saying. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Ghosts are real. Jordan, do you believe it? Wow. Dreams do happen. Wow, ask For a while. For a while. Ask another question. For a while the ghost was gonna spell it out, but it's so much easier. <laughs> what? Ask him another one. Okay. Um. Well, you have to have both the hands on it. There you go. Uh. Do you like all of Stevie's tattoos? <laughs> oh, no. That's so weird. How can you so go against the Ewok? One, a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. Wow. No, seriously, so you weird. have to let the spirit take over. Okay. Okay, thank spirit, you. Spirit, what is your favorite letter? <laughs> oh, T. Hey, interesting. Okay, one more, mm. a few more. Okay, you ask a question. Um, are the viewers on the YouTube channel gonna check out all of Mike's past movies and current movies? <laughs> no, <laughs> that was fast. Wow, <laughs> that ghost. Okay, We're okay. Really? okay. <laughs> really? It, is is Mike? Is Mike and, and Bobby going to be in a feature film in 2025? Ooh. In 2025. Okay. Directed be... by Jordan Peele. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's good. Wow. Thank you, Ouija board. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Yeah. You, you want to give it a shot? Well, I do it with you with the daylight, but I mean in the bright light, but I don't want to do it like by myself. Oh, okay. No. So, do you believe in ghosts? I, mean, I believe. Do I believe in ghosts? I'm not. Or spirits? Or? I definitely believe in spirits, but mm. I also I know when I like moved into my new place, I did go like, if there are ghosts here, we're all going to get along. I'm friendly. Yeah. So I did do that, and I think I saged. Uh huh. But you saged it. I did, but okay. so I'm not like not superstitious. But I also think, like, well, what are they going to do? They're not going to stab me. And if yeah. they did, they'd have a ghost mm -hmm. knife. So it's probably not going to work. So, have, you know what I mean? Have I, you heard of these these devices called, um, they're recorders. It's called uh, EVPs, uh, Electronic Voice Phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And where they capture spirit voices. No. Yeah. So. Do you think that's true or do you think that's just. Uh, yeah. If you look really? up, I, uh, there's a guy named Art Bell. He used to do mm. this. Um, 
radio show. Oh yeah, do you I remember, know Art Bell. Do you remember Art Bell? Sure. On the, yeah. I, yeah. So you used to do that this. Show still exists, doesn't it? The yeah. Go, uh, uh, Late night, whatever it's coast called. Coast to coast. Yeah, coast to yeah. coast. Yeah. So he used to. He did a segment um, on EVPs where they capture uh, ghost uh, voices and. Very convincing. Do you have you ever seen a ghost? Well, me and Bob grew up in a haunted house. Our house was very. Is that right? Yeah. How did he never tell me that? I don't know, mm. but yeah. So yeah, I they they try to possess. Did you? Me. So you saw? Well, they no, tried to possess yeah, you. Yeah. Well, I heard whis- their whispers. What did my, they say? You have something underneath one of your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're helpful ghosts. Yeah, and I, you know, uh, I guess you would call it. Um, what do you call it when the when the spirit takes over us? Uh, a possession? No, it's not a possession. It's a, a paralysis. It's oh, called sleep it paralysis. scares so. You, you well, no, I, I couldn't move. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. So you've like never that. dealt with anything like that? I don't think I've gotten that far. Now I probably will tonight because yeah, you brought yeah. it up. I won't break out the Ouija board unless you really want to play. I know. You don't, don't want to play. I have to say, both of my parents died, and when my mom died, Same I had with my dad. Yeah, yeah my I had terrible too. dreams. But then, when about my mom, but then after my dad died, now I have all these dreams that are really nice about them. Like we go on trips and stuff. So it's actually you turned. Rem- you into, remember these dreams? I remember a lot of them. Yeah. Are they younger? Are they older? Like they're the kind of like they're in better health. Yeah, than they were when they died. So like, and then you have so they're a bit younger. With them? Yeah, and it's kind of nice. It's weird. So that's not really a ghost thing. That's a dream yeah. thing. But but at least they're nice dreams. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than a nightmare about your parents. Oh, you know what I mean? So have you had one of those? Oh, yeah. Some terrible. Were there, were there like demons or something? No, they weren't demons, but it was just scary <laughs> stuff. Like, you know, mom was in a body bag or something. Like oh like like God. weird stuff that you don't want to think about. But, oh you know, goodness, but that's my... just nightmares. Yeah. So have you ever last... had a nightmare like a, do you have nightmares of like flying? Have you had those kind yeah, of? Oh, yeah. I had one where I was outside 7-Eleven, and <laughs> I was outside 7-Eleven, and a, somebody was trying to rob me, and so he had pulled out a gun, and so I thought, I'm going to fly away. And so I started flying up in the air, and then he shot me. <laughs> Did you feel it? You felt it? it felt- <laughs> and I woke up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but this I thought, is recently- he had a gun, so it's, yeah. what was I thinking? I'm flying away. Yeah. You know what? You want to hear one dream I had yeah, that please. I think was, it was kind of cool. It was a, a flying dream um, where I was on an, an airline, and it, there was really bad turbulence. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I so, love turbulence. So the shake is love it. shaking and shaking, and this this older woman next to me was super scared. And so I'm, this is a dream. So I took her hand and I, went, and I went, "Don't worry, this is my dream." And then she went, "Okay," mm-hmm. and then I woke up. Okay. So it, I can, it kind of yeah. I mean, it's not weird when you realize it's your dream. Have you ever had that happen? That's um, like in the dream. That, when I'm realizing that I'm that, dreaming? Yes. So that happened in that dream, which is kind of cool. Have you ever had a dream where you know you're dreaming and you, you think you wake up, but you're still in a yes. dream? Then you go to a different dream? Yes. That happens to me a lot of times with the nightmare dreams, yeah. where you're trying, to wake, you're trying to wake up and you, for whatever reason, the mind is keeping you in it, and that I don't like. What about chasing dreams where things are chasing after you? Uh, like goblins or something? I don't, I don't really have supernatural dreams like that. Mm-hmm. My dream would be like criminals chasing me really? like real people yeah because that's for me like scary movies i don't really mind like a haunted house movie yeah but i hate like a chainsaw massacre movie like or saw oh, or you something like that. well no because it's real yeah. it's like that could really happen to me like someone could try to chop off my head <laughs> yeah. but like with the ghosts at least you could probably get out of the room what have you what do you ever star in a horror movie like a saw sure so you would do you yeah okay in a heartbeat okay yeah, not just comedies. You would do. You would do mm-hmm. that. Okay. Well, do you have one? No, no, I don't. I mean, okay. Maybe Bob could write one up. What, or Jordan. Let's get him one of Jordan's movies. Now we're so talking. So why, why don't you put this out in the universe and, and give Jordan a message? Yeah. Jordan, Jordan, come on, you have the OG right here. You know here. you watch this. Uh, Jordan, we know, we know you're watching. Yes. Um. And Steve would like to be in it too. And Jordan, you're always welcome on the Stevie Weeby Show, mm-hmm. uh, YouTube.com/slash Stevie Weeby. Um, we would love to interview you. Give Jordan a message. Please write Mike into um, your next thriller. And everyone loves Stevie. He might be in it too. Yeah, I, you know, I'll, I'll be this. I could stock or something. I'll, I'll work at the, the convenience store stocking stuff. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Jordan. Yeah, thank you, Jordan. When's the last time you saw him? Weirdly, sorry, yeah, I I'm saw sorry. him at my dentist. A, a, you Maybe did. yeah, because way back in the Mad TV days, I recommended my dentist to a bunch of people at Mad TV. You did, and so he went to my dentist. 
Uh, Keegan went to my dentist. Mm-hmm. Ike went to my dentist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bunch of people did. Bob needs to go too. Does he? Does he well, have really? Well, he just lets the teeth fall out. He does. Why? Yeah. Well, the leads don't go to the dentist. Why don't the leads go to the dentist? Are you scared of the dentist? Well, I mean, I have. For one thing, I do this. Yeah. Chewing tobacco. All right. The, yeah. Well, that's you have it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but that doesn't mean your teeth look like that. Well, I know, but well, they, they make them brown. Well, yeah, it stains yeah. them. Yeah. All right. Um. God. But are you scared of dentists? Well, I, I, I had some work done, so I have I have my own dentist in, in yeah. it, uh, on the west side as well, and he did some extensive work on me. Okay, well, and it hurt. Know, they, well, no, they numb you. They they, they gave me the numbing shot, uh-huh. but it, I did feel some irritation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I think what helped me out when I was when I grew when I was growing up, I grew up in a small town in Ohio. My my parents had friends who were one of them was a dentist mm-hmm. and so he was always really nice to us and mm-hmm. gave us a little toy when we left and so, <laughs> so it was sort oh. of like oh i'm gonna get a toy when i go to the dentist yeah. so it was kind of nice yeah so it kind of took the and plus we knew them socially a little bit ohio so, right yeah i didn't know that yeah ohio the buckeye state hey shout um, out to the bucks Buckeyes, yeah, yeah. yeah go ohio they have, a, they have a strong wrestling program shout out to them were you a wrestler in yeah, college? Yeah, Bob good for did you. too. Bob, yeah, we wow, both yeah. good for you. Yeah. So what? When did you move from Ohio to like? How long you been uh, in Los Angeles? I've been in Los Angeles since 1911. <laughs> um, no, I was so I was born in Defiance, Ohio, Defiance, Ohio, mm-hmm. um, which is near Toledo mm-hmm. and Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, moved in sixth grade to the Chicago suburbs, mm-hmm. and then. Stayed there until I went to college, which was at Northwestern University okay. in the Chicago area. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I immediately came out here to go to UCLA grad school. Hmm. And then I stayed. You just yeah. stayed? Yeah. And then what year was that? Uh, 1941. <laughs> no, it wasn't 1941. But so- kids, it was... Not long after that. No. Well, I was going to say, like, didn't they you can do look gra- it up. Aren't the Groundlings from Chicago? As no, well? no. Second City's from Chicago. Oh, Second City. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Groundlings sorry. is a, is definitely LA. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when did you? So when did you start pursuing acting when you when you were in Los Angeles? Uh, around the Waiting for Guffman time, the mid '90s. I did yeah. one movie before that, the, mm-hmm. which. Um, but mostly I was concentrating on writing at that time. Now, is Christopher Guest going to do more movies? He should do more movies. I, th- I hope he does. They, they this summer, the Spinal Tap people got back together, and they did spin- oh. they're did doing a Spinal Tap uh, oh, sequel. Man. That should be great. Directed by Rob Reiner. So that's what he's been doing lately. When's that? Is that they're it's working coming on that out. Right now? Yeah, so it'll be coming out soon. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely cool. watch Spinal Tap, folks. Yeah, that's so the good. original one, right? It's so good, right? Is that their first? That's the first one. Well, right? that's. I mean, there's there were certainly like fake documentaries before that, but that's mm-hmm. definitely one of the first and one of the best. Mm-hmm. And that's about like a band, this 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 band that, um, you know, starts off like they're flying and they're doing great. They're like taking private jets, mm-hmm. and then the tour kind of like nobody. They quickly realize nobody cares. Yeah. And by the end, they're like traveling around in some crappy little van and mm-hmm. playing, you know, like, um, you know, theme parks. So it's it's very so funny. funny. It's funny. really yeah. funny. You've yeah. been on all good stuff. Well, tell them that because they're going to go like, why am I watching yeah. this? Yeah. Um, is there anything? I love your place, e- by the way. Thank you. Thank you. I've been here. What it's do you fun. think? I mean, it's falling it's apart fantastic. on me. I mean, this is all I need, right? A room, right? It's so cool. Yeah. Are you, are you, you're I don't around, live too far from here. Yeah. Yeah. I used to see you near the Largemont area. Uh, right? I've been, I've been known to be in that area, but mm-hmm. I'm in a lot yeah, of yeah. different areas. Okay. If they, you they think I'm going to give out my good, address on YouTube. No, we're YouTube, not, we're not. But I'm just saying, um, there's mind. a good pizza place called Village Pizza That's there. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, True. Is there any. And there's also a good music venue in LA called the Hollywood Bowl. Have you been? When was the last time you went there? I was there about a week ago. Well, who would you see? Like, you see? well, this was. I didn't. I didn't. I wouldn't have chosen this for myself. Mm-hmm. Now your audience is really going to think I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. I went to see uh, the Sound of Music live with where you sing along to the Sound of Music. We stage. can edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> we can edit and you that can out. also edit it out. What do I think about the Middle East? Because. <laughs> Yeah, that's the last time I was alive. Well, I didn't. I went as a favor, but it was still fun. I had a good time. Are, are you? So, what kinds of groups are you in? Like, are you li- like? Are you still listening to the music? Sp- yeah, I music don't care. Honestly, here, you, you I don't, don't care. I don't care for music. You don't. No, I don't like it. So you don't like listen to Chicago or the Doobie Brothers, I don't like any music. the Beatles. You know, you, 
It's, if it, it has a tune, I'm not for it. It's <laughs> so no music interests you none, at all. None, not one. Classical? I like spoken word or nothing. That's no, it. no, no. Yeah. I'm lying again. I like I you know like what I like. Know. I like solo artists so like Bruce Springsteen, people like that. That's you know what I mean. Yeah, Bruce, I like them. I like Bruce, that Bruce better Bruce than you know Billie Eilish and yeah. like. And weirdly, here's a fun fact: yeah. the Groundlings, where I'm uh, an alumna of, uh, Billie Eilish's mother was a part of that. And her name is Maggie Baird, and um, so Billie, as a child, would be running around the theater. Really, isn't that you cool? Re- you remember that? Yeah, she's on top of the yeah, world and now. then Phineas. Um, Phineas, who's you know her brother, mm-hmm. uh, was on Glee the last season of Glee, mm-hmm. and I directed. That's a musical, right? Yeah, it was a it was a musical set in uh-huh. a comedy set in a high school. Okay, and he was on the last season, and I directed uh, one of his episodes. So that's pretty cool. That's yeah. amazing, that's and that's amazing. obviously before yeah. Billy went. Mm-hmm. You know, I the like roof. that you said Bruce Springsteen. Not a lot uh, people Thank have you. forgotten about him, but. Well, yeah, some, some not good me. Song. I know, but good songwriting. Mm-hmm. Uh, that song about the uh, the Chevy or racing in the street. Oh and yeah, how the cars parked near Seven Eleven. That that uh, mm-hmm. he's a good songwriter. The song about his old shoe. Oh, oh does he have a song no, about I his shoe? <laughs> <laughs> he might. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, definitely tune in to all of the sh- shows that Mike has mentioned. Yes. Um. Can I, can I go through yeah, it again? Yeah, of course. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. What season are we on here? Season one. Okay. It's the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, and that's a series. And then... How many episodes? Ten. And then... Ja- and I'm in three of them, so you can just skip uh, seven of them. Uh-huh. And then um, a- uh, on Amazon, there's Jackpot. God, that's and, exciting. And, yeah. uh, well, the sensitive kind won't even... We're not... I don't even think they're going to be filming it again until... 2025 so okay because they're now just starting to write it yeah so that's a ways off um and then yeah all sorts of other stuff that you can still see you can still see you know glee is on netflix and crazy ex-girlfriend is out there somewhere yeah uh, yeah yeah a lot of stuff um we can edit the the middle east quote yeah stuff out you want me to edit that out yes please (laughs) okay okay mike I'll I like, edit it out. I like that you I mean, that's the power out. of, like, the control. Yeah, anything I mean, I that's could, bad, edit it uh, out. Yeah, I'll edit it out. Yeah. I, don't th- I didn't think it was bad. I, th- I thought you did well. What in the world? Are we I, done? Yeah, yeah. No, well, we're getting close. Oh, okay. How are we doing on time? We're, yeah, we're, we're getting close. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? No. Okay. Then why were you sweating the whole time? Because <laughs> I had this white stuff on my eyeballs. I'm sweating, too, actually. <laughs> um. Netflix, mm. nobody wants this. Amazon's action comedy film, Jackpot. Jackpot. Uh, the new action pilot with Ethan Hawke on FX. It's not an action pilot. It's a kind of a dramedy film noir. Definitely check that yeah. out, mm-hmm. okay? Yep. Now, can we plug your social media or any, yeah, like uh, websites on, or anything like that? Sure. I'm on Instagram, and my uh, handle is Hitchmichael, H-I-T-C-H-M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Uh I'm not really on X anymore, um, or Facebook or anything like that. And no, I don't. Why yeah. not? Well, weirdly, when Elon took over, mm-hmm. um, I had to get back into it, and I forgot my password. And but okay. then, the the account that it was linked to, like my, it, it, it's it's anyway. I'm not on it. Not even on Twitter. Uh, I'm not. I just don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm just not on it. Yeah, that's fine. But you're on Instagram, so that's yeah. Fine. And I yeah, and I don't do TikTok yet. And okay. I'm, yeah. I mean, I enjoy it, but mm-hmm. no, you know. Anyway. So definitely follow him today. Watch all these yeah. shows. Go revisit all these other shows. Waiting for Guffman, Best in Show, and, A Mighty Win, and revisit Mad TV and see Stevie on Mad TV with Bobby because I'm sure it's out there on YouTube, right? It's gotta I, be. It's gotta be some of them, right? Yeah, yeah. You did like the tank sketches. Yeah, I did the tank sketches. And what else? You the, played his brother, like just well, in well, stuff. I was, yeah, yeah. Well, I, mostly the tank sketches. I was, but Cornelius. other stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you, Michael. Yeah. I really appreciate it. So you if you do like that. Bobby Lee Tank, Mad TV, yeah, you'll yeah, see yeah, Stevie. Yeah. And yeah, mm-hmm. that's so cool. Yeah, it was and fun. And your dad was in a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, Your dad was so cool. Yeah, do you remember I, him? Oh, I loved him. He was, he was nice, right? He was really yeah, nice. Thank you. I really liked him. Thank you, Mike. That's yeah, nice. respect, that's really respect, cool. Respect. respect yeah. yeah. So thanks again for tuning in to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Okay, we're we're doing half vlogs now, and you know we're still doing the the podcast. Go to youtubecom Uh Go to Patreon. Uh, dot com slash Stevie, Stevie Weeby to help support the platform. Um, I'm working on a new music project called 
uh, Sloth in Motion. I'm four songs in, so d definitely um, support that when that comes out. Um, are we missing something? Huh. It's Bruce Springsteen's new song, Old Shoe. Definitely support Bruce Springsteen's new song, Old, Old Shoe, Shoe, on um, all streaming mm -hmm. platforms. Yep. Um, oh, Stevie's P.O. Box. If you want to send any packages or letters or mail, send all your stuff to 14... 25 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Stevie, Michael. now, before you leave, why don't you get, like, an Amazon wish list like all those people, like, on OnlyFans have? That would uh, be great. Like, what do you think? What kinds of th things do Whatever you, think you want. Like, I don't like, know. Like, what do you mean? Well, then your fans could go, like, oh, I love Stevie. I want to get him a new pair of shoes. And or, then they just go to Amazon, and boink, and you have a wish list. That's actually not a bad idea. I know. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. <laughs> This whole show is going to be five minutes. <laughs> we got you got some timestamps in there, right? Okay, <laughs> thank you, Michael. Michael, thank you for coming. thank you for having me. Bye.